And that's why I give way to our Honourable Brennan. On that point of having a strategy and some sort of strategic thinking, of course, one of the Arts Council England's decision was to cut funding to the touring side of the Welsh National Opera, which actually tours extensively in England, including places like Liverpool, Birmingham, Southampton, Oxford, and so on. Uh, and we found out on the select committee that they hadn't even talked to the Arts Council of Wales about that decision before actually making the decision to make that cut, which, which puts that opera company obviously under threat. The net result of which, by the way, along with the Glyndebourne board cut, means that there is no opera in Liverpool at all. What's that got to do with levelling up? Robert Neal. Well, that, that encapsulates why I think the uh, former Secretary of State, right honourable lady, was right to say what she said, I I in truth. It absolutely negates uh, the government's own policy. As a result of the way the Arts Council England have handled this, as you say, the Honourable Member says, there is now no opera in Liverpool uh, because WO, WNO cancelled their tour. Glyndebourne have cancelled their touring as well. That was touring in the regions of the UK. WNO toured uh, across the northwest, parts of the west of England, to Bristol, to Southampton, and so on. So all of those places will now have no opera. Not thanks to the policy decisions, but thanks to the way they've been handled and implemented by Arts Council England. That's not something that ministers should allow to stand, in my judgment.